Hello everybody, my name is GamerJix, and um, sorry I haven't posted a video in quite a while. Um, I do realize that my video hit 50 views like yesterday, but uh, I wasn't really feeling making a video yesterday. So, uh, I decided to make it on Friday, because it is Friday. I love Fridays. Um, so, as you can see here, I am playing CTF, and I joined the game a little late. I messed out on about the first uh, three minutes or so of this match. And, um, it's a pretty decent match. I, uh, literally just recorded this, uh, maybe 15 minutes prior to me doing this commentary. And I had a different video set up for, um, you guys to watch. It was gonna be a sniping match. Um, one of our, uh, one of my fellow subscribers, uh, suggested I put that up. But, um, this was a little bit more, um, it's a better video in my opinion. Um, so, uh, be expecting, uh, unless I get something better than what I planned, um, be expecting a sniper video coming up next. So I say this gentleman coming up here. Anyway, back uh, to uh, the intro of this video, as you may call it. So I am playing CTF on uh, Scrapyard. Uh, one of my favorite maps, because it's one of the smaller maps, and I like it. Um, I'm using the Tire 21. I got a, with a holographic sight. And a little pro tip for you guys. I'm not really pro, but I'm going to tell you a pro tip anyway. Um, if you put the holographic sight on the tire, apparently it gives it a little bit more accuracy and possibly a little bit more damage, possibly. Um, apparently when you put a holographic sight on certain guns such as M16 and um, the tire, for example, uh, you get a little bit better accuracy. So um, yeah, if you're looking for a, a good attachment for such guns as the tire and M16, uh, try out the, uh, the, the holographic sight on them. You may be uh, pleasantly surprised on the increase in accuracy. And uh, you may also notice I got sexy uh, blue tiger on my tar. Ooh. Um, blue tiger is my favorite camo because, uh, well, red tiger is pretty sick. And uh, fall camo makes me want to puke. But um, blue tiger is my favorite just because, well, I like the Toronto Maple Leafs. Toronto Maple Leafs are blue. Blue tiger's blue. I like the color blue. So blue tiger's cool. And um, yeah, so I like blue tiger. I also got blue tiger on my intervention. And you see there, my uh, sidearms are double uh, magnums. Um, I'm definitely going to be moving into some deagle action here because um, I have a craving for using uh, desert eagles in this game. I don't care how fucking crappy they are, I want to use them. Um, but uh, magnums are uh, my favorite handgun. I know I've said other, gun other sidearms are my favorite, but hands down the magnums are my favorite. I've gotten the most kills with them, so right now I'm sitting at a pretty 8 new going into the second half. Got my Harriers ready, and I'm going to launch them on their spawn. Hopefully get a nice uh, quad, maybe? Maybe, possibly, question mark? Or maybe just a shitty bunch of hit markers, maybe. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, that sounded pretty. Nice little sound. You always love that sound, unless you, uh, unless it's all hit markers. So I would have had a triple there, but one little uh, some bitch on the other team had a... Uh, had his little painkiller on, so um, pick up the the old chopper gunner here, and uh, the only problem with the uh, chopper gunners on, well, pretty much chopper gunners in general, but uh, more particularly on uh, scrapyard, um, they take a fuckload, they take their sweet fucking patience in uh, getting into this map, and uh, which is a complete disadvantage, because it gives the uh, the other team a good opportunity to get indoors, because uh, helicopters coming to rain terror on them. But uh, it looks like some people uh, decide not to go inside, and um, my chopper gunner seems to be uh, attached to this one certain player and wants me to kill him first. So I do that, kill him, and uh, start going to town on him, but not really. I don't really get a lot of kills. I kind of suck with a chopper gunner. Um, yeah, don't really like chopper gunners that much. Uh, I just think they're extremely overpowered and shit like that, you know. And you feel like you're, you're kind of useless in this game because you're just sitting... You guys just sitting somewhere with his little laptop sticking out the ground, and uh, you're just uh, you're just there. You know, you don't you don't feel like you're engaging in the game. You're just pretty much holding down the trigger. Pretty much, that's chopper gun right there. So for some reason, my chopper gun brought me over to this certain corner. Uh, I'm not seeing anybody, so um, I was hoping my chopper gun would move over and let me get some kills, but it doesn't let me. So setting on 19 and 0 right now. Looking pretty good, don't you think? I think uh, I think it's looking pretty good too. So I'm gonna. You may notice I may be playing a little bit more, uh, quote unquote, um, defensive, as you may, some people may call it. Uh, some may, people may call it camping, but uh, I like to call it defensive play or sexy defensive actions. 
But um, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, I don't. Some people that may be following my channel know why I really hate camping, but um, trying to get a decent game going here. Um, I was actually in this game. Uh, the first three minutes of this game, I was in it, and I left because I wasn't doing too good. I think I was like 0-4 or something like that. Went for a different match. I came back into this same match, and uh, this happened. So, yeah, it's pretty weird. I guess I just wasn't, I didn't have the right gun, I think. I was, I was using the P90 first, and then I pulled out. When in doubt, I pulled the tar out. So, when I feel like I'm not doing too good, I uh, pulled the tar. So, the enemy gets a UAV there, and I saw my teammate get killed, and I... I had a feeling that um, the other gentleman on the other team knew my position, so I decided to uh, fall back and get into sexy defensive position 3, which is camping under stairway. Um, because I figured if this guy was to come through this door, he would be looking up just like so. Which is a big no-no. You do not ever walk into a room with your sky, with your, I mean, sorry about that, with your head in the, in the sky. Because there may be such gentlemen such as myself waiting for you underneath where you were looking. So, yeah, don't walk into rooms looking up. Bad idea. You got the advantage of coming up behind the enemy team and, uh, you know, take your time. Scan the area first before you run in there with your head up in the sky. Because you will die. You will die. Nah, maybe you won't. I don't know. It depends. You know, if, uh, if I were to walk in a room like that, uh, I probably wouldn't be looking up. Um, ugh. so, um, see this sniper coming through here, doesn't see me, for some reason I have no clue why, um, such a sniper would be coming through here, but I don't really want to move out there because I know there's a lot of, uh, snipers on that team and they were causing, uh, rather, quite a ruckus on the, the first round there, so I don't really want to move out into the open because I know they're just waiting for me to come around, so get a UAV on my team I know they're over there so I'm gonna move over there and uh, oh there's a guy there and oh <gasps> oh my god no way is that a tactical nuke inbound oh my who called that in oh no I died but that's fine because I got a tactical nuke yep that's the big surprise for this video I got a nuke for you guys I really hope you enjoyed it because I worked my ass off to get that fucking nuke for you but not really Hope you enjoyed the nuke. Uh, hopefully I'll have more. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Stay with my channel. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Have a good day.